Hi guys, this is one only by Nikki family. Welcome to another cooking video, guys. One love, welcome to the family. Thank you all so much for the love and support. I know it's been a long time. I do appreciate all of you who still check into my channel, watching, like, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. Like and share. All those who celebrate birthday anniversary, happy birthday, happy anniversary. Sorry, I've been not posting a lot of content for you guys to see. As you guys know, the reason why I'm not doing that. So thank you for still loving me and still loving me for who I am. I appreciate that. So today um, I'll be cooking some Guyana fine hassa and some Congo fish with some side and green mango and some okra. So you guys will see how I do it as I go along. I'll show you guys everything. Thank you once again so much for all those who still love and subscribe to my channel. Please like and share and subscribe to the notification icon on so if I post a video. You get notification from your boy Nikki family. One love. Thank you. So guys here as you can see this is all my um, ingredients for my hasa curry and congo fish. Um, I have some mango over here a whole mango. 2 teaspoon gram masala, 1 teaspoon ati, 2 teaspoon garlic, 2 teaspoon curry powder, 5 weary pepper, some of you say, some of you say mari pepper, fresh saijan, and this is for the onion. Here I got some okra, some shallot, onion, some curry leaf, parsley, one nice broad leaf thyme, and some mint leaf. So this is how everything looks so far. And as you can see on my stove there, I got my water and the curry to cook the curry. So guys, this is how everything looks so far. And here I added another cute owl bottle. I found it. Isn't it cute? Has a nice little sunflower on it. And it's amazing guys so thank you all so much for the love and support still so stay tuned so i'm gonna go ahead and cut up my shallot now guys these are all fresh ingredients going in fresh shallot fresh okra fresh mint leaf thyme fresh parsley fresh brad leaf thyme fresh saijan fresh green mango, fresh mari pepper and the fish is fresh and self that came all the way from Guyana thank you uh, Angela for sending it for me, I appreciate it Angela thank you so much and thank you mom for bringing it and thank you to my mother in law also for sending some um, side and bhaji for me I do appreciate it, thank you so much there you go so here I'm cutting up the okra now guys. Like I said, thank you for all who still watch me and supporting me, show me the love. I do appreciate you guys. And big up to all the YouTubers. I still show my love and support to everybody, although I don't post content. I don't post my video, I still show love and support to everybody. You know, that's how I am, guys. I always will show love and support to everybody. Even I'm still not on, I will still show the love. So I'm cutting up all the mint leaf, bread leaf, celery, parsley, everything to go into um, the hasa curry. And guys, the mint leaf and the, um, the bread time smell really good. So guys, the most fresh ingredient to get, or fresh herbs, you call it, for your ham curry, any curry, it always will taste delicious because it's fresh. And when you get the fresh one, you gotta use it. So I'm cutting up half of a, a, a white onion to put in my um, curry. So this is what that simple and quick guys. Look how everything looks so far here. I already cut up everything. Um, I'm going to 
add my oil to my curry just now. So guys, here I throw a little bit of garlic and a pinch of salt, just to so get a little seasoning up a little bit um, to fry it up. I always fry my hasa and congo fish. It doesn't matter what fish I cooked. I always fry it up a little bit, just to half fry it a little bit and then cook it. Okay. So that's how I cook it, and this is how everything looks so far. Nice and fresh and cut up. I'm waiting to go inside the curry. Here. Okay, guys, here I'm putting it up the half of the half fry a little bit. I like to fry it up a little bit first before I cook it. Sorry, guys, the vent was making a little bit noise, so um. I add the half in here. And I'm gonna add the congo fish also. Half fry them a little bit. It's a slight mixture. It's not gonna fry really, really fry. It's just gonna half fry it. It smells good with the garlic and the um, pepper and the salt. But it's hard to look so far in the current heat. So I'm just going to let it half fry for a little bit. Then I'm going to take it out back and wash the fire heat. Then I'm going to go ahead and cook on. Um, get ready to tackle the curry. So stay tuned. So guys, let's give it a little bit. It has to fry nice and half fry already. So I'm going to take it out now. So this is how everything looks. As you can see the garlic is nice seasoning into it. The fish is half fried. I don't fry it all the way, just half fry it, okay? Right here I'm trying in the curry leaf. Trying my onion. And all the um, mint leaves, the parsley, the celery, everything to fry up with the oil. So all the flavors we can really can release. Okay guys, take a look. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so you can bungee up. The smell is guys it's gonna really really good as you can see. All that's in there is the seasoning and the red pepper. So I'm gonna let it bungee up until the iron come up to the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, add my mango and my Thai them to fry up a little bit here now. So I like to add my mango and side to fry up with the masala. And that way it releases the flavor together. And it tastes more delicious. So the okra guys, I'm gonna throw it in when um the curry is about to boil. 
So this is how I've been looking at the car here, here so far. So in this part. Look at all this delicious flavor in here. Look how nice it looks. So as you can see, look. So I'm cooking today, guys, before the wife comes from work. I'm trying to finish dinner. So when she comes home, she don't have to cook today. So as you can see, this is how everything looks. As you can see now everything is bungee up nice, I'm going to add a little bit of water more so that it can bungee up and then afterward I'm going to add the um, hasta and this kongo fish inside so it's just not fine hasta alone guys, it's got enough fine hasta and kongo fish some of you say patka, some of you say cascadu so stay tuned so guys look how this looks guys I was so glad and happy that Angela sent me those, this couple fine guy and I find hasta so I can cook it with some nice congo fish and cook with milk and eat it. This is the guy and I find hasta that I have. It's not a lot but it's okay for me and my family. So here I'm gonna add um, the okra in now. And I'm gonna give it a turn. And also I'm gonna add my hasta and congo fish in. Right now. How everything looks. So this is how everything looks now guys. I'm gonna go ahead now and add the um the cocoa milk to it. I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut milk inside now. So this is one can of coconut milk. Okay, I don't want to turn this off to break it. Because I'm going to call the fish soft. So this is how it looks now guys, as you can see look. I add the coconut milk and everything now. I'm going to cover it to boil. This doesn't take long guys because they are small hasa and the congo fish is already half fried. The hasa is already half fried. So take a good look and stay tuned guys. Just salt and put your salt to average my salt. If you want more, you can always add more on top of it. Okay guys, stay tuned. So guys, as you can see, here is my finished hasa curry, fine hasa curry and congo fish. With saijan, a nice green mango inside, and okra. Sorry about the siren in the background, this no guys. So stay tuned for the taste test, okay? So guys, here is my finished hasa curry and congo fish, and this is my rice. So I'm not gonna put food in the table today, guys. I don't feel that well. So I'll still do taste test with the kids. But um, no, I'm not going to put the food on the table, so I'm just going to show you how it looks from close up, as you can see. And this is the rice. So stay tuned for the taste test. So hi guys, I'm going to just do a quick taste test. 
and the son is going to come in and he's going to rotate this with the daughter also okay so as you can see here we have both have the hassa and congo fish she doesn't like side and all close so i have that in my plate so i'll go ahead and we got i do the taste test then the son is going to come in and do the taste test with her okay it's hot guys just finished dog cook so it's hot of course you know i'm gonna go in my hand Roasted jibati, mango, mm. really good, delicious guys. And the side end, as you can see, look, the side end boil so soft. So, this one is for all the subscribers, and all the, the supporters. This one is for you guys. And thank you for all this continue supporting my channel. If you're not, please do like, uh, like and subscribe or share. Turn the notification icon on so that I post a video, you get a notification. So, um, I just want to say thank you all once again, and the sun is going to come and say, do the taste test with you guys. And I'm going to end the video, okay? Take two. Go. The food tastes very delicious and you can cry. Thank you to who? Thank you to Auntie Angela. Thank you. Love you. Nani. Thank you to Nani. So here's the son going to do his taste test now. So basically what she's saying guys, she was telling her nanny and her uh, auntie Angela, thank you for the hassa and the um, baji. We thank auntie Angela and nanny for saying the fish and the fish really good. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Love you. So as you can see guys, the daughter is right there, the son is right there having their lunch. My hand is dirty so I'm going to go finish up my food now. What do you guys to say? Thank you to everyone for still supporting us and showing us the love. And make sure you like this guy. Thank you. Peace out.